All right. Well, I also want to bring up the aspect of playing of youngsters because we saw Nketiah score. We saw Saka getting another assist. He impressed last week as well. You came through at Leeds. Well, you weren't coming through. You were re-established. But there were a bunch of kids coming through. You know, Alan Smiths, James Milners, etc. I mean... How, yeah, how Harry do you, Kill, Jonathan Woodgate. How um, do you temper the balance between these young players and the inexperience with everything else? I think I think you bring them in into an experienced side and you can, you know, bleed them in slowly if you like, you know, play a couple of games, rest them, you know, play five games, see how they do in that. If they do well, you know, maybe pull them out again and then and then, you know, re establish them then they're in the team, you know, for always if they if they're good enough. Um, you know, you've just got to be careful to start with with them. Um, but the, you know, the, the guys at Leeds, they all they all came through at the same time, and they they were all fantastic and professional. I mean, Milner is lauded for his professionalism in the game. Was he always like that? Yeah, he was. He was. He was great as a as a young as a young lad at, at Leeds. He had that attitude. He had respect for his, his senior players, um, and he. he I'm absolutely delighted for the career that, he, that he's had because because of the way he's done it. You know, he's done it. Um, he's very selfless in in what he does, but you know, he gives an awful lot to every team he's played for. How important is temperament, Nigel? Um, I think it's vital for, for for all positions, goalkeepers wise. Your temperament's obviously got to be really good, but you know, to you you need characters in your team, and you need people that are prepared to roll their sleeves up and and do a lot of the hard work and. And I think it's the blend of those sort of two sort of things that make makes you have a, a good team spirit and therefore a good team. Because Saka and Aketia can handle it, can't they? We, you know, we, we saw them today. They're not phased, and I think that's so important. You mentioned the you know the great young Leeds players which came through, but phased by anything? You know, they understand about pecking orders uh, and earning the right and, and working your way up. But when you get the uh, when you get the opportunity, you have to have the confidence to show what you can do. And I, I think both players did that today in Kenny and Saka. I also feel a little bit old because now Jonathan Woodgate's managing. And I <laughs> yeah. still think of him as a youngster. And then you forget he went to Real Madrid, he, he came did. back to the Premier League, and obviously and he's managing. It's just time flies by. Yeah, there's, there's certain players that you didn't think would be managers and he would probably be one of them. Really? Yeah. You know, he, he was... He, he, he was a fun, you know, he was fun all the time and, and probably wasn't serious as much as he, he should have been at, at certain times at the club. Certainly when he was at Leeds, very good player. Um, you know, he, he was the equal of Rio when they were, were at Leeds. They were both great, great defenders. Um, but, you know, he's, he's, he's grown up, he's matured and, and, you know, he's taking on the managerial role now at Burrow. It's a, it's a big club. It's a big ask for him for his first job. But, you know, fingers crossed he does well. And you are getting old. I'm, I've got one grey hair, which I spotted this morning, which made me very depressed. I'm not going to yeah, say well, you, where. Well, you're playing catch-up with us. Uh, slowly. <laughs> Surely, but slowly. OK, 